Hello, Wave Country. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to Feel Good Friday on Wave 3 Listens Live. I'm John Ramsey and let's take a look at the rundown today. Marilyn Cannon is here from the Physician Center for Beauty. You're going to feel good inside and out thanks to the Physician Center for Beauty. It is the 51st annual for 51 years. Homorama has been so popular. This year is no exception. Lots of great ideas, brand new, beautiful homes at Catalpa Farms. Again, we're gonna talk with Pat Durham about the 2018 Homorama. And wild eggs at Westport Village. Lots of happenings at Westport Village. Uh, lots of excitement and of course delicious food because uh, Wild Eggs is the go-to place when it comes to breakfast, brunch, and lunch. And I've got three folks who you're going to love to talk to because I don't know what it is about Westport Village, but I've never had a bad time there. There's so much going on. First of all, downtown Kelly Brown is oh, with us. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Brown is with us and she is the general manager of Westport Village. Trevor Simones, who is the, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call him? Ex executive chef. Want to make sure I had that you right. Got it executive chef. I love that. Very creative at Wild Eggs. And also with us is Carmen Schreiber. She is assistant marketing director for Westport Village. Okay, I want the camera to take a look see because I'm telling you what, I wish we had smell o vision. I'm smelling <laughs> cinnamon. I got a little spice over here with the bananas. We'll talk about all of this. But first of all, I'm going to go to you, Kelly. Okay. Westport Village. Um, tell me a little bit about the success, the history, some of the shops. It's just a great experience. It, it is. It's a very unique outdoor shopping experience in kind of an English village feel. Mm -hmm. um, you can walk around and experience any of our um, seven boutiques. We've got um, a lot of restaurants. Most of them have great outdoor seating in the summertime. Um, we have health and fitness tenants. And what's really unique about Westport Village is that most of these businesses are locally owned. So the business owners are in the stores operating their businesses. So it's a great place to come out and yeah, shop. Kelly, I didn't know if it was the mission, but you know, every store, every shop, every restaurant, is unique. Uh, there's not, you're not going to see a lot of franchise or anything like right. that. It's all, it's all unique and all unique to Louisville as well. I always love taking out of town guests to Westport Village. I bet you hear that a lot. We do. Um, <laughs> our, our tenants tend to uh, specialize in local gifts and um, very Kentucky centric. So uh, it's, a, it's just a great place to, to shop, eat, and, and play. Yep. So. And, and speaking of eating, as I said, the go to place for breakfast, brunch, and lunch is Wild Eggs. What a success story. How many locations now, Trevor? We've got five area locations and a lot more over the region as well. Woo. Uh, he is the executive chef and there is a good reason here because they do specialize in it's a contemporary breakfast with kind of a fine dining feel right Trevor? Indeed yeah we th we come from fine dining our owners owned fine dining restaurants before and they wanted to bring some of that to brunch you know our Tab our tables are set up a little differently than you see in most brunch restaurants. We offer cracked pepper at the table. You have cloth napkins. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I know that Louisville Magazine in 2017 you were voted best brunch, right? And 18, just and, recently. And 18. You've yeah. got like one of the nation's best sandwiches, best we, hot browns. Absolutely. We can go on and on, right? Yeah, we've got awards more than we can hang. <laughs> yeah, but that's good. Well, let's talk about some award-winning dishes that are in front of us now. Okay. Beautiful. This is our uh, strawberry tall cakes. Mm. We have five pancakes and we have our homemade strawberry compote with fresh strawberries and a heaping portion of whipped cream on top. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it won't hurt you. Looks fantastic. That's the way to celebrate. I tell you That's what, right. if you go to, you know, it used to be that everyone would go to a, a business lunch and, and celebrate. Go there for breakfast. Oh, yeah. That says celebration yeah. all over it. You'll leave smiling, you will get the deal done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Okay, how about here uh, to, to your right? Okay, so here's our house-made cinnamon roll. We have cream cheese icing on top. Ooh. It is great. You can split that for an appetizer with a person of your choice. Make or, you smack your don't. mama. Yeah, yeah. Don't split it. Just keep it for yourself. All right. Next up here, we have our KY crepes. These are uh, apple bourbon compote crepes with uh, apples inside, sweetened cream cheese, and we have our house-made candied pecans to go with it. It's the bourbon apple compote is one of the best things we have in our restaurant. If you haven't tried that one, you got to try that one. And from what I understand, USA Today voted you the best hot brown in the state of Kentucky. That's the hot brown right oh, no. there. That's the best hot brown in America. In America, in America. not just in Kentucky. That's right. In America, well, we're the only people that make it. But so that, what? <laughs> but so what? <laughs> we're going to claim it, right? And I do think it's important to point out that you know we talked about closing a deal or celebration. You know, you've got Bloody Marys, you've got mimosas, uh, cocktails right. galore. That always and helps with the celebration. What is it about your Bloody Mary that makes it stand out so much, Charlie? Oh, we use a, a different blend of spices. I can't tell you all the secrets, but we use absolute papar vodka in it. 
gives you a little bit of a kick at the bottom. You, anybody can do that, but all right. I'm well, not telling you all the stories. All right, once again, Wild Eggs, <laughs> five area locations. Carmen, I wanted to ask you, back since you're the uh, assistant marketing director, yes. okay, had a big event scheduled tonight at Westport Village. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. It has been rescheduled, so that there's good news, right? Yes, yeah, so we have rescheduled it, um, which we're very excited about, and it'll now be on August 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m., and that is on a Thursday. Um, and we will still be hosting the newbies. We are so excited to have them. They're a 12-piece band. They're going to have horns and strings, and I've seen them at least five times at Abbey Road on the River. They're just so much fun, fun for everybody. Wow. You tend to do this, uh, Kelly, I'll ask you what, you know, don't get me wrong, there's enough to do at Westport Village, but you look at some of the, the, the live bands and outdoor action, and like you said, you just walk around, and it's got that really kind of a community feel to it. So. Why do the extra band? Is it just saying, hey, look, we appreciate you coming in. We, we want you to thoroughly enjoy your shopping experience, your dining experience. You guys are always giving back. Right. Well, nice. we feel like we're a part of this community. Our business owners are, live in this community, so we want to give back to the community. So we have a lineup of free concerts all summer long, once a month, brought in this big band that this is probably the one opportunity you'll have to see them for free. Um, we're going to have lots of great food and um, other things there, food and drinks. So, um, yeah, we've got other events lined up too, like um, Light Up the Village in December and then our um, uh, Derby Fashion Show. So, we love throwing events at Westport Village. Yeah, it's always an event. It's always a good time. Okay, I'm going to ask you, Trevor, yes, since, you, since you're the executive chef. Right. Okay, when you go in with your family to Wild Eggs, yes. what do you order? My son eats that every time. Your son goes this direction. Get a smaller one, but okay, yeah. Okay, okay. How about you? I get the Calamity Katie's. It's the it's my favorite dish on the menu. It's if you haven't had that, get in line and try that. You do like a Jimmy the Greek frittata. That, that frittata is really great. Do you like that. that one? Is that is that your favorite? I love it. Oh yeah, everybody has a favorite, I'm sure. Once again, Wild Eggs, Westport Village. And again, if you were going to attend the concert tonight, don't be discouraged. It's just rescheduled. And again, Carmen, that is August 2nd, correct? August 2nd, yes, from 6 to 8 p.m. What is, what is August 2nd land on? I'm not sure. It's on a Thursday. On a th okay. The other ones are on Fridays, but this one is on a Thursday. So definitely a good one to mark the calendar for. All right, so you get off work on a Thursday, head on over to Westport Village. You'll see the newbies. And apparently, according to Carmen, the newbies are worthy of seeing, correct? Yes, they'll be playing a lot. <laughs> of favorite Beatles hits. Um, they do incredible Beatles renditions along with some classic rock and some original songs as well. All right. And again, thanks for all that Westport Village does. Kelly, you do an excellent job there. Oh, thank you. Really <laughs> do. I mean, you really do because when I go in, it's it's funny, you know, a lot of times, and, and it happens often, I'm sure, to a lot of folks, is you go, okay, I want to go someplace where that's happening. It's got a little atmosphere. I want well, Westport Village is a go-to spot because you know it's, there's I always hear. something happening, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, it takes a village. <laughs> it, it, oh, did she say it takes a village? I thought I was the king of corn. That was really yeah. good. It takes a village at Westport Village. And again, uh, Wild Eggs as well. Uh, you, I'm telling you, if you've got time for brunch this weekend, head to Wild Eggs and you'll see what we're talking about. Better yet, you'll taste what we're talking about. I'm going to head in the direction of that Bloody Mary. Okay, coming up, another great happening here in Louisville, and that's Homerama. Yes, it's been going on now for 51 years, so if you're looking for a new home, or perhaps you just want some creative ideas for your current home, uh, we'll be talking about that next on Wave 3 Listens. We're live.